Welcome to episode 4 of the Lazio series and today we take on Inter Milan and well things have been going rather well it's not been too long since we were last with you after my uh, cock up <laughs> with the start of the season but nevertheless we will press on and uh, yeah we'll show you what's been going on and uh, well it's just a sea of green loving life a bit more at Lazio than Palace it's fair to say but last time out we beat Napoli 1-0 thanks to a goal from SMS. Well, then there was an international break. I arranged a friendly just to keep up momentum. Uh, Brace Mendes grabbing a goal in that one. Um, but yeah, it was just against a lower form side. And then ever since then, we've been scoring a lot more goals and doing what I wanted us to do, put teams to bed. And well, our first game after the international break was away at Benevento. Um, and we actually went behind in this game. Three goals in the last 10 minutes turned this round. Yeah, first half we went out the races, but then goals from SMS, Paqueta and Immobile turned this around and gave us a really good what was a comeback. Yeah, last two 10 minutes, we were sensational. A bit disappointed we left it till then to play, but I'll take it nevertheless. We then beat Bologna 4-0. Really emphatic result, considering Bologna have had a really good start to the season. Joaquin Correa hasn't really been playing that well this season. Well, he turned up with a hat-trick. We brought him off for a standing ovation and his replacement, Johnny, grabbed a goal as well. So that was really good to see. But yeah, totally dominant performance. And in the most recent game, a 2-1 win against local rivals Roma. You love to see it. They took the lead early doors with Edin Dzeko again. First half, we were a bit slow out the gate. But a goal from Immobile just over after half-time. And then with 10 minutes to go, a goal from Florin Shehu. Yeah, sealed the win. A really good turnaround once again. And um, yeah, just so, so pleased with how it's going and just enjoying it so, so much. If we have a look at the lead table, we now sit top of the tree and we're actually pulling away a little bit. If we can pick up a win today against Inter, who have had a bit of a resurgence recently. But yeah, if we uh, pick up a win, we'll be six points clear. So yeah, we um on a really good run of form. SMS, the best player in the division, followed fairly closely by Bacata. So yeah, thing, it, it's going pretty well. Really, really enjoying it. Bless Salata, Salanitana, bless them. Ten games, ten defeats. Feels like Palace, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is in the middle of that run. As we said, Roma, we last played. Inter, we've got today. And then Juve are having a good sort of... Had a bit of a shaky start to the season on a good runner format at the moment. Well, this is the team that we are going to go with today for the game at home to Inter, playing on a Saturday, interestingly enough, which isn't a very common occurrence in Italy, um, but a fairly full-strength side, actually. Gallini is going to be in goal, came back in after the international break and has played pretty well. Lazari at right back, Radu coming in again at left back. Regulon has been playing, but again, for similar sorts of reasons, I think Radu's... Uh, experience will be pretty important in a game like this, so he's going to play there. Escalante comes into defensive midfield. That is because Bedell is suspended. He's going to be a big miss. He's although he's on the surface of things, doesn't look like a great player. He's been so important in this run, playing really well at the base of the midfield. So Escalante is going to come in and play that deep line playmaker role. SMS and Bacata in the middle of the park. Bacata come in again after the uh, international break. And, well, he's been superb ever since then. So, yeah, him and SMS have formed quite the partnership. Shehu is going to be on the right after his goal last time out. Correa, the man back in form, is going to be on the left. And Immobile has seemed to have sorted his act out a little bit. He's going to be up top for us. So, without further ado, let's get into the game. have to give out some numbers. We'll give out that one lovely jubbly. So, interesting formation from... Uh, it's, is Conte still their boss? He is indeed. Conte still the manager. Opts in for his. I think he, this is what he's similar to what he played at Chelsea, isn't it? But Lukaku and Tales Magno leading the line. Picked him up last season for twenty one and a half k. I know this guy can go on to be fairly good, but still very young. Only a season in. Although has got a great scout report. If we look, Eriksen in there as well, Barilla and Brozovic. Hakimi on the right-hand side. He's actually just turned his loan deal permanent, hasn't he, in real life. Um, Cucurella on the left. Kamara I'm not familiar with, so it'll be interesting. But yeah, a very familiar inter lineup. Sure, no doubt they've got options on the bench. 
another tough game. But we've just negotiated Roma. We've already beaten Napoli so far this season as well. I'm going to say to the boys, show me what you can do to keep our run going. And the game is underway. I had a few uh, tunnel interview questions there. But straight away, Shehu with the corner. Aims for a mobile, but it's headed away. SMS on the edge. Good ball out to a Serbi. Not probably the player you'd want in that position. But SMS ball on the edge. Pekata shoots just wide. Tried to place it in that bottom corner. But to no avail. Oh, well, in to respond almost immediately. Going to be them. But Pekata does well to steal in. Bombs down that left-hand side. Needs options. Skips past his man into the area. Crosses blocked. Correa ball in. And he's with Shehu. SMS with a reactionary shot. And Handanovic with a really good save. Shehu... Again, ball in. Not the greatest corner you're going to see. Handanovic collects fairly comfortably. That is one thing I've noticed about us uh, in this system, playing this Gagan Press style, is we do nick the ball off. Uh, well, it's what you want from this sort of style, but we nick the ball off um, our opponents in really good positions as SMS goes for his uh, patented long-range effort, but it goes just wide. But yeah, we're really good at nicking the ball off uh, teams in their half and just countering from that. Really pleasing to see as Ericsson makes a tackle. But Correa will collect. SMS is there. Correa goes for it just by himself. And Handanovic comfortably saves. But yeah, in this opening half an hour, despite the fact that Inter have had 70% possession, they've only had two shots, just had their first shot on target. We are dominating in terms of shots. Ericsson ball in though. I'm just going to keep quiet. Just going to keep quiet. A really well worded free kick, to be fair. Hakimi gets away from his man. I think that's a Serbi. Has a lot of space to play with. And potentially against a runner play, you could argue, in to take the lead into half time. Yeah, really disappointing. Considering how dominant we were in that first half. The fact we're behind, I don't understand how they're having so much possession. Okay, first highlight of the second half, and it's come in the last 10 minutes. I've made changes, I've changed system, and uh, we've made all three subs. Can we get a goal? Pakata, lots of space on the left-hand side. Barisha, come on, it's a substitute, and what a goal he's just scored. We've made some inspired substitutions so far in this series, in this Lazio mini-series. And there is another one, Val and Barisha. What a hit that is. Obviously learning something from his centre mid partner, SMS. Handanovic gets a hand to it. I cannot keep it out. Can we go on and get a winner? We've done it so many times. Let's get creative, boys. Can we find a last gas winner? We go into added time. It doesn't look likely. And there we go. The game finishes one all. But my word. What a game. What a goal from Barisha. We save ourselves a point. I think probably justified considering how many chances we had. But yeah, really tough game. Um, I'm actually going to say to the boys that we weren't good enough today. And well, that's the first time we've dropped points in quite a while. This Juve up next is not going to be comfortable either. But yeah, if we have a look at this league table, we are now four points clear. Of Udinese, Juve a couple points behind that. It's really important we uh, don't lose to Juve as well to maintain our gap. But as we are bringing you games fairly quickly and because of making up quite a few, for missing quite a few games at the start of the season, we will come back fairly soon. I think maybe at the start of the December period, we'll come back against Fiorentina. For Fiorentina, historically quite a good team in the Euro Le Europa League this season, but not having the best uh, best start to this one. So yeah, we'll come back for Fiorentina, and uh, I will see you for that, Ben. But I think I need to go and catch my breath. That is going to be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in a piece.